Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing the economics video. I'm just going to be talking about my course, answering a few questions. So starting off with the modules that I take, I didn't actually get to choose the modules. They were all chosen for me this year. We had four modules in each semester. So for semester one, the modules were introductory economics, quantitative methods, contemporary issues in economics, and economic data analysis. It was quite varied, um, but again, it was like the foundations. And this semester, the modules that I'm doing are mathematics for economics, principles, of microeconomics, principles of macroeconomics and statistics for economics. Economics is really really mathsy. I do feel like having done A level maths has really helped me. I did do economics as well at A level and I would say it has helped a little bit but I don't think you actually need it to do economics. I feel like you probably need maths more than economics at A level. Eight modules in total and in the description bar below I'm going to have like a description of each one so you can kind of get an understanding of what each module is like. So my favourite module so far has been Mathematics for Economics. It's basically like C3 and C4 of maths, which is amazing. I don't really feel like my Economics A-level has been helping. In first semester, some of the modules did cover a bit of like the basics, which Economics A-level did teach me. But I feel like now we're learning advanced stuff in economics. Now moving on to what the actual lectures are like. Most of my lecturers are Italian for some reason. It's probably different in your uni, but yeah, they're mostly Italian. They are pretty good. For some of them, their accents were a bit hard to understand at the start, but it's really not that bad. They speak English pretty fluently. And as always, you do have some really good lecturers and some not so good lecturers. I've got one um, and he's really funny, he always puts like gifs in, memes, he shows us like videos, he makes it much more interactive, whereas the others it's more like just notes and everything, but that's just what lectures are like. And I actually prefer lectures to like A-level lessons, basically you just go in, it's a massive lecture hall, sit down, they start talking, you make the notes, again it's just a powerpoint, they're not going through any special stuff, you'll have your own virtual learning thing and they'll upload the slides there, you can just like revise from it, you can miss lectures and still be okay but I would recommend go to your lectures just because they explain it better and when you're revising you kind of remember what they said. So now on to how many contact hours I have, so because I've got four modules right now we have two hours of lectures for each one per week so that's in total eight hours of lectures per week and then we've got four hours of tutorials, so an hour tutorial for each module. So in total, I only have 12 contact hours a week, which is actually really low compared to other courses, especially stuff like engineering. But we do have to do a lot of independent study. Another question that I get asked is whether A-level economics is actually harder than uni-level economics, and the answer is no, definitely not. Um, I know for some courses, university first year is actually easier than A-levels, but for me, no way. A-level economics was still quite heavy, but um, I feel like uni-level economics is so much more advanced. You learn so many new things, it does not compare at all. Uni is on another level. But having said that, it's totally manageable. You just have to go through the slides, read the books they give you, and I actually learned a lot from YouTube. It's not like you're gonna fail or anything, you just need to work a lot harder. And just a little brief overview on what tutorials are like. We get given problem set, so they'll upload a set of 10 or 11 questions. We do that in our own time and then we go to the tutorial and they'll explain the answers. I have missed a lot of tutorials and I feel like you can catch up, but again, it's better just to go to them. The exams themselves aren't actually too bad. The midterm test that we have, it's like 30 to 45 minutes. And then the proper exams, which are worth like 60, 70%, which are held in January and in June. They are maybe an hour and a half to two hours. Another question is, is it easy to balance uni work with the social life? And honestly, I think it is. You just have to have good time management, but if you do, like, it's completely doable. Um, especially for me, I only have 12 contact hours, so I get a lot of free time. So yeah, I can definitely fit everything in. To try not to procrastinate too much, I usually end up on YouTube watching TV shows and all of that. I'm now gonna end with like a few revision tips. So for me, the biggest revision tip is make use of YouTube. I have used Khan Academy, and there's actually loads of other lecturers who put their lectures up on YouTube, so you can just watch them, you can learn from them. Everyone learns differently. If you learn better from books, get the books, read them, you know, do the work that way. One of my lecturers does actually record his lectures, and then he puts it up on Surrey Learn, which is good, so I can go through that, but most of them don't tend to. And mainly, just stay on top of your work, don't let it build up. After you go to each lecture make sure you finish the notes and I actually rewrite my notes a lot when I write in lectures it's normally quite messy because they go so quickly when it comes to revision I go through the slides again 
and I just write my notes again. So yeah, overall I'm really enjoying this course. It is interesting. I know it sounds boring, but I don't think it's that bad to be honest. And it is quite matzy, which I do like. It has been quite tough at times, but that's only because I wasn't prepared. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!